Hello, Gary of Corsetro.com here, and today we're going to pick the winning entry for the second Corsetro Design Challenge. All right, so this was a good test of UI skills this time around, and we had several pretty good entries and a lot that I think a lot of you still need a lot of work on. So we're going to be working on UI design stuff definitely going forward, although I don't know what the next challenge will be per se. But let's go ahead and switch over to our screen here for the first, second challenge. And I'm just going to scroll down here. I have this by default at highest ratings. And so I've spent yesterday going through and rating each one of these. All of you should have received an email. And uh, yeah, so, you know, looking at this, uh, we didn't have entries that were rated, you know, as quite as high as our logo design challenge. We have we had a, several that were in the 80s and, and 70s percent. Um, although I probably could have rated some of these higher. Either way, still good job for some of you. And let's go ahead and look through these. And I'm just gonna go through probably the top five just to give you my thoughts. Okay, so this individual left uh, three different designs here for me to choose from. Um, I was probably singling out the one that I thought was most effective and that's what I judged it on. Uh, for the first one, I think there's just, let me go ahead and zoom up here just a bit. There's not enough uh, contrast between the background. The background actually, you know, even though it has some type of uh, perhaps a, a, a layer blend mode set to it or and or opacity. It's just still sticking out a little bit too much, especially with this in mind, um, the, the type here and also the login button. It seems like it's just grayed out or it's something that's inactive that you can't click uh, being, you know, with that less contrast. This one over here, definitely cleaner. Um, you know, again, this, this could have been better if we just took down the opacity quite a bit. Um, the, I mean, I love the layout, uh, the icon's good, uh, the white space, everything is very well structured. I uh, also used, you know, the appropriate Facebook connect button. A lot of people didn't do that. They kind of made their own and they didn't use the blue. It's very important to use that blue. Um, but again, the one thing that kind of threw me off was the uh, the login button. You know, generally call to action should be something that sticks out well. You know, th this blue button here, it sticks out well, but the login right here just almost seems like an afterthought or it's possibly inactive. Same thing over here. Uh, having said that, it still did get the highest rating. But again, when it comes to the top five to 10, you know, I'm not necessarily comparing them against each other. You know, I, one category I could be off in relation to the other. So really they're all very, very similar. So that that's why you know, the top rating won't necessarily win. All right, so coming down here, uh, right here. Okay, so Robert submitted this one. I, very simple, as you can see a white background, which there's no problem with that. We can see, uh, just kind of a, a watermark background with uh, a couples looking at each other or something. Uh, again, here the the, the icons are very good. The form inputs are good. You can see the email and password. They don't stick out too much. Uh, appropriate type size. Forgot password. Uh, sign in. Very good clear call to action right here. Also uses probably the most obvious color, which is based on this color right here for the anarchy.love. Uh, nice simple or here. It doesn't stick out too much. I know some people, they gave a lot of uh, prevalence or prominence or importance to the or label. And really, you don't need that. Uh, it'll start competing with other aspects of the layout. And that's what's referred to as a visual hierarchy. Uh, the or is very low on the hierarchy. So, you know, we, we don't emphasize it very much. Uh, and then sign in with Facebook We're using the appropriate uh, Facebook blue here. So very solid entry. Coming down here, uh, this is also the same individual right here, Robert. Just a, a different color scheme, and it works well. Notice that you, know, you use this time a pink background instead of white, uh, and and I would say the 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 opacity from the photograph that's watermark in the background is is perfect. Doesn't stick out too much. You know, it's almost just barely noticeable. But if you look at it, you can see it. That's what you want. You don't want it competing with elements. Uh, in your foreground, like the form elements, all right? And again, you know, the, the call to action stands out very well here. Uh, great contrast. All right, uh, another one here. 
This is more of kind of a, a what's, what's referred to as a card-based UI design. And I, I rated this very high as well. Uh, I matches the top two entries uh, at 66%. I, the only slight thing that I didn't like about it was this, uh, it seems like almost, you know, if you had a, a, a phone, maybe not one of the larger ones uh, that was on in your hand, there's so much white space and padding here that it, there's not a ton of area to type. I, I would probably just expand these elements out a little bit further just to give a little bit more room. That's the only gripe that I really have with this. This is uh, very good. Very, very good. All right, uh, David. This one is very is very good as well. Uh, definitely more on the unique side, uh, kind of with how this section is kind of split in a uh, diagonal manner. Uh, definitely unique and it works well though. Uh, sometimes people can overdo those sort of things when they're trying to be unique, especially if you're a new designer. Uh, but th this works very well. I liked it. Um, the one thing I just didn't really like was the black underline from Anarchy with this type here beneath it. I think if you probably just got rid of those two elements, the underline and the uh, the, the slogan, and then just center the Anarchy.Lover here, it would have been just a little bit better. But still... Good entry anyway. And that's all I was going to go through. Um, before I pick the winning entry, let's sort by lowest rating. Not to like pick on people, but just to look at some of the things that people have done that uh, you know you want to avoid. Uh, so right here, we have a lot of issues in this one. I I don't really want to single out and just start going over each one, but if we go through all of these, we'll see similar patterns. And this is the same in individual submitted like four or five designs. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. All right. Uh, one of the things that's going to tie all these things together, there's several aspects that's going to tie all these entries together in terms of you know what they've done wrong. Uh, I'm just going to go through these just a little bit more. Is probably the two categories, simplicity and color and contrast. So if we look through these, uh, the color and contrast isn't very great here. We have kind of like this light blue with this white type here. Um, we have this, do you have an account down here? It's almost white on white, definitely avoid that. And then complexity, you know, we have all these lines, we have uh, a lot of things happening here that you want to avoid, you know, the, the the outline, this thin stroke on the login button, not using the Facebook blue, definitely want to avoid those types of things. Uh, this here, there's no essentially no layout. It's kind of things just kind of thrown on top of each other. Um, definitely avoid that. This one wasn't actually, this one is actually pretty, a lot better than his other ones. Uh, but coming down, uh, you know, the, the color and contrast is completely off here. It's not really relevant. Um, looking at some of these other ones, you know, it's kind of hard to see the email and password form fields here. Uh, very blocky, kind of sort of uh, unnecessary strokes on certain areas. So what I suggest, if you you had a lower rating, sort this by the highest rating and just see what they've done right. Look at the categories and the ratings on the side and try to get a really strong feel for what they did that was right. So the winning entry that I'm going to pick here uh, it probably would have been this one, the very top rating, but just the login button. It's like this tiny thing. The tiny difference is going to separate most of these. Uh, it just doesn't stick out enough. Um, the winning entry I'm going to choose is between this one and this one, which is by the same person. So I think I'm going to choose this one ultimately as being the winning entry here. So Robert Lightheart, or no, you're not Lightheart. It's, it's something else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and contact you, and you will get the prize, uh, which up here is noted as being free access to the Android App Design and Development course, which is unfortunately our only paid course at the moment. Uh, so yeah, having said that, uh, there's a lot of areas, that, like again, I mentioned before that some of you or a lot of you can improve on in terms of UI. So we will definitely try to make that a priority uh, going forward with the challenges. Now, also something that I want to mention and it's going to be coming up quite soon is a new paid course and it's going to specifically be focused, focused towards these design challenges. And like I said, it's a paid course, but it's going to be dirt cheap. You know, I mean, I don't anticipate being more than 15, 20 bucks max. And 
it's going to be a really comprehensive course that's going to like if you take it or you purchase it and you watch it, you're going to be well equipped to participate in any of the design challenges, whether it be a UI based design challenge or an identity slash logo design challenge or a general graphic design challenge and how to use Photoshop and stuff like that. So you'll get a strong understanding of what these five categories mean and how to apply them. And they'll be, it'll be really project-based. So you're gonna see me tackling these types of challenges and projects. So I think that's gonna help a lot of people. So look out for that uh, in a couple days, maybe today or not tomorrow, but tomorrow, the next day, I may release the next design challenge. If you have ideas for what that should be, uh, just give me a shout out here on the YouTube comments and throw out your idea. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later.